Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about what team I think Adam Tomlinson should go to. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So I'm sure most of you guys would know who Adam Tomlinson is. For the ones of you guys that don't know who he is, basically he plays for GWS and he was selected at pick number 9 in the 2011 draft. So he's been playing for GWS his whole career. He was one of their first ever players and he's currently 25 years of age right now. Now, there's a lot of rumors about who was going to leave JWS this year and who was going to stay because basically JWS the year prior actually decided to free up a lot of salary cap by trading um, Dylan Shield, Rory Lobb, and Tom Scully. And doing this actually gives JWS the opportunity to obviously free up cap and sign Josh Kelly, Stephen Canelio, and a couple other players like Adam Tomlinson. Now, obviously, Josh Kelly recently just signed a two-year deal. I'm sure JWS would definitely would have liked a way bigger deal, and it seems that Josh Kelly is still, like, keeping the door open of him potentially moving back to Victoria. But also, Stephen Canelio is yet to, um pretty much put pen to paper, but this is not about Stephen Canelio or Josh Kelly. This is about Adam Tomlinson, obviously, and I think Adam Tomlinson... I would think he would have re-signed at a similar time that Josh Kelly did, but it seems to be a pretty similar scenario to, obviously, um, Stephen Canelio. Tomlinson has actually put off trade talks it's, um, and trade talks and, you know, re-signing with GWS at the moment. So, I think he really just wants to focus on his footy, but at the end of the year, I think it's definitely going to be a really interesting thing to see what he does. Now, like how it was a fight for Dylan Shield between Cullen and Essendon, I do believe it'll be a fight um, for Adam Tomlinson between those two teams as well. It makes sense for those two teams to be, you know, the most likely to really go after this player. But there's also another team, um, two teams in the mix that are also very, you know, likely to pursue this player. And obviously, it's actually Western Bulldogs. I think I heard somewhere that Western Bulldogs were actually looking to um, potentially move Adam Tomlinson into more of a forward role. I think Carlton were... I, th I don't know if it was Cullen. I think there was another team as well that were looking to do the same thing. I'm not too sure, but it was one of the teams out of these four teams, I'm pretty sure, that were looking to see if he could potentially move to a forward role. But as I said in my video about what Carlton can do better in 2020, um, I actually did say I think Adam Tomlinson would be a great signing for the Carlton Football Club. But first, before I get into that, I'm actually going to start with the most unlikeliest club I think he would probably sign with, and that's probably North Melbourne at the moment. I'm not too sure if I could really see him signing with North Melbourne. Even though they are a top four chance, I just feel like North Melbourne would be better going after bigger free agents, whether it's this year or next year. I just think that North Melbourne have got to get a big name player eventually, and I don't know if Adam Tomlinson is the one they should really be looking um, to try and get, but... Obviously, the other three, I think Western Bulldogs would be an interesting one. He could either play key um, as a key defender or a key forward at Western Bulldogs. I think they would definitely prefer him go into the key forward position, but he hasn't really played as much there as he has in all the other positions that he's played. If you didn't know, he's played wing, he's played back. I think he's even pinched here in the ruck a little bit, but I'm not too sure about that one. But yeah, I, think, I don't know if he's really gone down to the forward line that much over his career, but... I'm sure with his ability, his athleticism, and his strength, and his height, I definitely could see him going down to a, you know, and playing as a forward, so I think that would be a possibility, but the other two I really think are really likely is Carlton and Essendon. The reason why I think Carlton would be a really likely chance is because you look at Carlton's team, and you look at their back line, and no offense to Liam Jones, but when Liam Jones is your best defender, I think you're in a lot of trouble. Now, I'm not just saying that Adam Tomlinson can come into their back line and take them out of last position. I think you'd have to get Adam Tomlinson and another solid key defender somewhere in the draft to, you know, really move down there. Whether it's in the draft or where it's another free agent, I'm not too sure, but I think Adam Tomlinson would definitely be a start. So, yeah, I could definitely see that happening. And the other really likely chance of the other team that I think I could really see him going to is also Essendon. Now, the reason why he'd be good at Essendon is because I feel like Essendon really... They they have, like, everywhere around the ground, whether it's forward, back line, or in the middle, it feels like they just need one more piece in each position to really help out. And obviously, Adam Tomlinson is one of the best utility players there is in the AFL. So I think if he went down to the back line and helped out, and maybe he um, improved maybe in the middle, you could potentially throw him in the ruck once um, Tom Bell Chambers is 
tied, or you could put him on the wing, or maybe if you want to do the idea that I think Western Bulldogs had, where you could put him as a forward, I think that could also be a possibility as well. I just think Essendon, if what they would be looking for in this free agency is obviously another solid midfielder, another key forward slash key defender, like a utility type of player, and maybe a wing or something like that. I'm not too sure, but I would definitely think that Adam Tomlinson could be that utility player that could play both backline and... Um, wing and forward line for um, the Essendon Football Club. So I think it'd be a perfect match for him to maybe go and look there. But yet again, I also think Carlton, obviously Carlton have struggled so much. And I think that Mitch McGovern, I think he's had a couple of injuries this year, but I'm not too sure how many games he has played. But he was supposed to also come in and help them with the key forward position. And I don't think that's really happened, you know, too much. I don't know if you could really say that was a success, but... Yeah, I'm not too sure. I think Mitch McGovern is one of those interesting type of players because you just don't know if he's a forward or defender. This year, he's played entirely forward, but I feel like their forward line has definitely been really jammed, um, I would say. So I think here's an idea. Maybe play Tomlinson in the back line, move McGovern also into the back line like how he played at Adelaide, and then you could have you know a McGovern and... Um, Tomlinson back line and maybe get another play in free agency or in the draft and then you could just leave it up to you know um, Kerno and the other players like Mackay in the forward line because their forward line looks way too tall when all three play in there and sometimes they chuck another key forward in there like Levi, Levi Caswell I think's played a couple games this year as well so I think it's a really interesting um, topic on what team Adam Tomlinson should go to but if I had to say I think Western Bulldogs Essendon and Carlton would be the um, the best three decisions, and then obviously, um, North Melbourne would be the fourth, and I, honestly, guys, I can't really decide what team he would rather be at, obviously, I think he'd rather win at Essendon, but I feel like he just, it'd be a really great fit if he went to Carlton as well, I'm not too sure, so I definitely would really like to know your thoughts and opinions on it in the comments, so please make sure you guys leave a like and subscribe to the channel for all the latest AFL content, and don't forget to comment in the comment section down below what team do you guys think Adam Tomlinson should go to, I definitely really like to hear your thoughts and opinions, and don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, MRIRL slash vlogging channel, link in the description down below, and I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.